Okay, I get this question quite a bit from people, and it's uh, if you understand engine building, how the engine works, it, it's an easy, uh, easy concept. It don't matter what engine you use, it could be a, a diesel, it could be a small block Chevy, it could be a Kohler Command, or it could be a Kohler Single Center. Don't matter, it all works the same, even a Briggs and Stratton's the same. But uh, if the camshaft don't have any timing marks on it, and you don't know where to put the cam and get yourself started, especially if you have adjustable gear, all you gotta do is remember, if you put the camshaft on overlap, Here's overlap. Overlap is when both valves on the top of the board is open a little bit. Overlap is right here and here. This would be the overlap area of the cam. You can kind of see if you look right down at this, this, this cam here is just this cam here is just closing. That one's just opening. So as it goes around, this one's closing, that one's opening. So when the both valves are the same height off the top of the blocks as in a, in a flathead, that would be the overlap. That'd be top dead center. So find so when you so you put your crank in, you get that on the overlap. When you put your crank in, just visibly physically see visibly see that, that the crankshaft is at top dead center or really close to it because you, you, you're going to be on one tooth or the other, every tooth is about 12 degrees. So you need to be on top dead center, you put the crank in top dead center and you're on overlap, when you degree it in you'll be really close to being uh, crooked degree it in. The only time it comes out a little different but still it's the same basic theory if you have different duration on the intake versus the exhaust then it might vary a little bit but you'll still end up on the same tooth so when you put your adjustable cam gear on, you can uh, a degree wheel on a cam gear, you can adjust your cam gear in and you'll be within a few degrees of being right. And that's how you do that without a tiny mark on a camshaft or the crank. You really don't need it. Just got to put an overlap, put the crank at the top dead center. Like a V-twin, same thing there. You have that one cam on the overlap and the number one cylinder. You put the crank in so it's on overlap number one cylinder. comes up the same way. So it's a pretty simple concept how it works. All engines are the same.